Here, I'm going to show you how to connect to MySQL, MySQL, through Microsoft Excel and get the data from the database that you need into your worksheet. So here we have a list of employees with their emails. Let's see if we have anything new. I'm going to hit Refresh, and this is going to go to the database, get that data, and spit it back out here. And there we go. We have one new employee, Thanos. Now, doing this is easy once we have it set up, but it requires one extra step. We must go to uh, this website, and I'll put the URL below this video. It is dev.mysql.com slash download slash connector slash ODBC. You want to select your operating system, your OS version, and go down here and get either a 32-bit or 64-bit version. I went with a 32-bit version. You hit download, and then you install it. When you get to this page, click No Thanks, Just Start My Download. Then we can open it. You're going to get this scary warning, but it should be OK because we're getting it from Oracle. So we hit OK. And then we go through the installation wizard, install it. It's pretty simple, but I'm going to stop right about here because I've already got it installed. Now let's open it up. This is what you're going to download. And if you're in new versions of Windows, you might not know how to find this after you have it installed. Just search for ODBC Data Source Administrator, and this little guy should pop up in whatever Windows little menu they've got these days. And then what I do once I have it opened is I go ahead and right click it on the taskbar and pin it so that I can find it more easily in the future. And what we want to do when we're here on User DSN, go to Add. Then we go all the way down to MySQL ODBC ANSI driver. Finish. And here is where we set up the connection. Give it a name that's readable. This is what you're going to see in Microsoft Excel. And then give it a description, short description, what it is, what it does. You can input the server down here, the URL to it. Change the port if you need to. And here's all the other information you need to input to log into your database. And if you don't understand what these are, you're going to have to talk to someone on your end to give you the username, the password, the database name. How do you connect to it? Is it on your machine? Is it local host? Or is it another server? If you know what you're doing, you can click Details and get lots more options down here. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. Input your information. Then you can hit Test to make sure that it connects correctly. That's a very good idea. Then once it does, hit OK. And you're going to have your new connection right here with the name that you gave it, DB MySQL Company ABC. Then we can hit OK. Then we can go to the Data tab, Get Data, From Other Sources, From ODBC. Then we should see the new data source that we input right here. Click the drop-down arrow if you don't see it, and hopefully it will be there. Click the name. If you want to run some custom SQL, we can click Advanced Options, and you can put that right in here. I'd make sure that you test that it works before you input it here. We're not going to have debugging like you might in other programs. But you don't have to put anything down here. We can simply hit OK. And here we are inside the database. I'm going to click Employees. We get a list of the employees. If you don't see what you expect, make sure to hit the Refresh icon right here. And now we can load it or transform the data like we normally do when we're importing something. Uh, let's hit load. And there we go. We have the latest data from our database pulled into Excel. It's a one-way connection, so all we can do is view it. But once we have it here in Excel, we can do whatever we want with it. And if you want to make sure you have the newest data from the database, click Refresh Data. You can click in here, then go to Table Design, Refresh, or go to the Data tab and click Refresh right here as well. And that's all there is to connecting Microsoft Excel to MySQL and pulling in whatever data you need to from that database. I'll have links to the connector that you need to download below this video, as well as links to my other online Excel courses that will show you how to do many interesting and helpful things in Excel, including automate your tasks. But that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials. See you next week.